Sam here from Creative Minds. In this video, we're going to do a quick overview of the many useful features available with the Ad Changer plugin. This plugin is sure to improve the performance of your advertising campaigns by turning your WordPress site into an effective ad server that can run campaigns across multiple WordPress sites simultaneously. The Ad Changer plugin has an easy to use management system. It's highly customizable with many campaign types and a ton of ad and campaign settings and provides detailed reports and statistics on your campaign's performance. The Ad Changer plugin can be a standalone plugin. When you download the free version, you have access to the server side of the plugin, but when you purchase the pro version, you can manage and track those campaigns across multiple sites. This server client structure meets the needs of both the advertiser, who manages how the campaign performs, and the publisher of the website, who can make sure that their advertising space is used to the maximum. When you create a campaign, this campaign has its own general settings, banner settings, and activity settings. You can add a campaign name, assign it to a particular campaign group, and even give it a weight that will then determine how often it will appear in its advertising space compared to the other campaigns in its campaign group. You can provide notes about the campaign for the admin side, as well as a target URL for when someone clicks on the banner. You can also determine the status of the campaign as active or inactive and assign a campaign manager email who will receive notifications about any problems with the campaign's activity. The admin can also put a limit on the number of impressions and clicks for the campaign in order to manage the advertising space. Next, you can add domain names that are approved to run the campaign. These will be your approved client sites to run that specific campaign. Finally, you can assign the campaign to an advertiser so that the server side can keep track of who the campaign belongs to. Next, if we go to campaign banner settings, you can define the type of campaign that you're gonna run. We support image, HTML, AdSense, and video campaigns. And we are in the process of adding new types of ads including pop-up and flying ads. You can also set up cloud storage for your campaigns in order to reduce server load. And this is as easy as just adding the URL to your cloud storage. Now let's make an HTML ad campaign. Let's call it the Ad Changer Question Advertisement, and we can assign it to a campaign group and also give it a weight against other campaigns in that campaign group. Under Campaign Banners, we'll select HTML Ads. Then you can either use the Ad Designer or your HTML code to input that HTML ad. The Ad Designer has all sorts of designer options, from borders to background, to the description and title and the font. Over on the right hand side you can see a preview of what your banner will look like and then on the bottom right you can simply copy and paste the code generated by the ad designer. Once you have added the code to the first HTML text box then you can put in a target URL for this specific HTML banner and you can also add multiple HTML banners to appear within this one campaign. So we're going to add a second HTML banner which is the same as the first with a different background color. Then on the settings page you can find the provided short code you can show the parameters so that you can customize the short code to best fit your needs. And then we're going to take the short code and put it into a sample post. And we'll be sure to use the campaign ID that was generated when you created the HTML ad campaign. And if we go ahead and view this post, you can see the HTML ad campaign appears directly on this post. And if we refresh the page, the green banner will appear because they both have an equal weight. And finally, if you click on the banner, it'll bring you to that target URL or the Ad Changer website. Setting up an image banner campaign is similar to setting up an HTML campaign. You can give it a name, assign it to a campaign group, and give it a weight if you like. You can also include a target URL for this ad campaign. Next, if we go to campaign banners, here's where you can upload the images for the campaign. As you can see, I've already uploaded a couple of images to this campaign. And the second image, the selected image, has a variation which will respond to different container sizes or screen sizes. You can easily add images to the campaign by pressing select files. And you can even give individual images within the campaign specific target URLs and weights against other images in the campaign. Once you've added the campaign, under campaign settings, you can take the campaign ID. This one is 36. And we're gonna add this to the short code 
provided on the settings page within this sample post. And on the post page, here you can see the ads appear and they rotate between the different images within the campaign. Using campaign groups is a great way to manage several campaigns using the same ad spot. Campaign groups include several individual ad campaigns, and each one of these ad campaigns has its own weight within the group. Adding campaigns to a particular campaign group is as easy as using this drop-down menu and then clicking Add. The Ad Changer plugin also provides a built-in way for you to test if your ad campaigns are working properly. If you go to testing, all you need to do is put in the individual campaign ID number and then press Start Test. This will automatically generate a report about any problems with your campaign and it will also show you a preview of exactly what that campaign is going to look like. There are various types of reports you can generate. As you can see, it gives you a breakdown by day of all of the clicks and impressions of the different banners in any specific ad campaign. Under Client's Last Request, the server admin has access to a log of every time their campaign was active on the different client sites where the campaign was running. The access log is a master list of all of the activity related to the ad campaigns across multiple sites. And you can filter by clicks, impressions, by a specific campaign name, or by a particular advertiser.